Hey Scorpios and welcome back for a general love reading. This is a general love reading so it's not going to resonate for every beautiful Scorpio out here. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. A shout out to all of my beautiful amazing Scorpios. Scorpios you got some decisions it's, it's just keep on like I did your February's reading for my uh, at Brown Eyes Intuitions channel and it's all about your decision making. It's all about what you say. Because now it's time for you to get what you say. So your overall energy is spread your wings. Spread my wings and fly away. I'm searching for love that's evermore. <laughs> Y'all remember Troop? So guess what this has to do with Scorpio? It represents expansion, freedom, confinement, and decisions here. So listen to what it says. It says energies of expansion are all around you uh, now and because of this you may be feeling restless and uncertain your mind and soul are ready to soar but you may feel confined by certain relationships or certain aspects of them uh, this is the psychic from the terror of the heart tapping into your heart space here it says although they may be comfortable and feel safe it's possible they don't quite fulfill your needs even the desire to be in a relationship can be restricting because it becomes your focus and you forget to live your life to the fullest here see sometimes when you think you have all that you could ever want you realize that you now want something else perhaps a relationship has grown um a little too d restricting or it's not exciting enough or maybe it no longer meets your needs as you've evolved and changed what will take to allow you to feel unrestrained and joyful Scorpio listen to your heart what do you really want remember to make any needed changes with love and compassion see It's changes. That's what it is. Because check it out. Your next card here is clarity of belief. Ace of Swords energy standing in your truth and moving forward because you ain't got time for no indecisiveness and you ain't got time for no toxic energy because you have opportunities elsewhere. See there? Because if your mind is distracted by something that is restricting and does not serve your highest good, you're going to miss this opportunity. See, you got a, you got an opportunity coming for some of y'all. You got an opportunity to strengthen your bond with your uh, your past person. And for some of y'all, you're going to have to detach. For some of y'all, in order to strengthen your bond, you're going to have to detach because you're too, up to up too close and personal. See. So like I feel like you got opportunities that are beckoning you. You're going to gain clarity. You may have a dream. You may be seeing signs here. Yeah, because look, you got something coming in with the four ones. I was outside, y'all, but the wind is blowing so hard. I had to come in. It's got tired of the wind blowing. It's beautiful, but yeah. <laughs> it still ain't time yet, god dang it. It's almost time. See, something is, you may be about to get some type of uh, communication here with the eight of ones and the four ones. That's fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Beautiful energy, see? I told you you got opportunities beckoning you. See, Ace of Cups. Why? Because it's time. Spirit says it's time for you to let go of the devil hand. Devil card in the reverse so that you can move forward towards success. That's what Spirit is telling you. Spirit says, aren't you tired of being restricted with somebody here? Aren't you tired of the one-sided relationships? Well, Spirit says you're not going to get something new if you don't let go of that uh, old because by you holding on to it, you're making it think that you are okay with it like it is. And if you don't want it, you're not going to be with it, huh? Yeah, I know it takes time, but it can be done because think about all the people in your past that ain't in your life now. All it takes is a little determination and for you to stand up and believe and to move forward because that, that chariot represents you're moving towards your victory and your goals. Here. See, seven of wands, standing up for yourself, defending your rights. See, when you stand up for what you deserve and what you believe, Scorpio, you're not going to ever come up short. But sometimes you need to pull back and go to two of pentacles and then go to high priestess here, Scorpios. Somebody's making a move. Now, either somebody's making a move towards you or you are making a move towards them with that Knight of Cups. 
the two of wands making a decision. They go a king of swords. You may have a king of swords, a justice Libra card. <laughs> For some of y'all, you got a, 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 a water sign, an air sign. That maybe that could be who you're trying to get away from for some of y'all. But like I say, you got this Ace of Cups and this Wheel of Fortune, which, which represents you do have something new and refreshing uh, in store. You got opportunities that are beckoning you. But some of you guys are not sure, even with the High Priestess card. That's why you got clarity of belief. So let's see. You have the four of wands, eight of wands, and the seven of wands. And the will of fortune, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy here. You have the chariot, the high priestess, and the ace of cups, cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. They go to devil, Capricorn, see? They go to that devil, Capricorn, instead of showing up here, but it's showing up in the reverse, though. Two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Uh, some of y'all... Uh, um, Lukewarm, your indecisiveness. Part of you wants it and the other part of you don't believe and you don't feel like fighting for it. Because I do believe, but like I say, some of y'all wishes is going to come true anyway. They go to star card or maybe there is a need to heal. Some of you guys are living your life. Some of you guys are looking very, very beautiful and attractive. And as a result, you're getting attention. So it's almost like you're not losing anything, but you just have to make up your mind what you want because you cannot fool the energy or the universe. So why is the four of wands here for Scorpio's clarify the four of wands? This is a commitment. Now, it could be some type of celebration here that you may be invited to and you could run into somebody here with this will of fortune. You may have some type of unexpected thing uh, where you run into somebody and you guard it. You may be real guarded and nonchalant. <laughs> See, they go to the King of Swords in the reverse and the Ace of Swords in the reverse and the Knight of Swords. They're like, I feel like somebody may want to clear the air with you, get something off of their chest. Or once again, the person here who you need to connect, disconnect from, their minds is racing to Scorpio. It's just, it just seemed like, you know, you're being pulled in two different directions, but you're still being, but you have unresolved issues with each other. So maybe that's the clarity of belief. Maybe somebody's coming in to have a real conversation with you from your past. For some of you guys, you could get a phone call from someone from your past wanting to clean, clear the air with you uh, and be strong. You know, at least you will know. Don't you want to know? And who knows? It could, it could actually open the door for something new for those who want it. And for others, you could actually be traveling to a wedding, to a reception, and you're going to run into love with this Ace of Cups here. Some, somebody's going to find, somebody's going to have a real commitment or run into a real opportunity in love while you are out traveling. I see that, okay? So the four ones, why is the four ones here? And it's going to be fate. It's going to be destiny. It's going to be one of those things that you get to talk about. You was like, girl, I was traveling to go to this wedding, child. And this guy, you know what I mean? It's just like... I just feel like it's going to be a romantic thing here. It's just a romantic time. OK, it's romantic time. Remember, Valentine's Day, you already know. See, told you because they're going to you're going to catch their attention with that Queen of Wands energy here. And um, you may not even be trying it, just being yourself. And like I say, once you make up in your mind and you know what you want, you're not going to have any problems. It's the indecisiveness and the not being real and honest with yourself is going to cause the problems here. So the four of wands, queen of wands, see, I feel like somebody looking at you like God dangling, mama. See that toe, nine of pentacles, see, six of wands. I told you, you got a lot of attention on you, Scorpios. Now, either you're going to go to some type of event and you're going to shut down the whole show. The whole show going to be looking at you. Or you got some type of commitment for some of you guys, somebody looking at you like you a good catch. Somebody could be looking at you, trying to see whether or not you are single, too. OK, so now you got the eight of wands, something moving fast forward, moving energy here. Look at here. You got the ten of pentacles here. See. So you could have an opportunity that's going to change your life that's coming your way. Look, there go the ten of cups, too. So for some of y'all, you may enter into a relationship, a new relationship, and it moves fast. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever been in those relationships where it just seemed like it just flows because it just feels like it's supposed to be? You don't, they're, they're not fighting you to love them, and everything just goes like it should. And next thing you know, y'all done moved in together, y'all buying stuff together, y'all in a relationship. It's almost like you're supposed to do this. They go to world card, and they go to food card. Aries energy, 
And there go justice here. See, there go justice, Libra energy. But some of y'all, once again, either this is going to be a strong soulmate connection or for some of y'all, it's somebody that's trying to come back from your past. Could be a Libra, could be an Aries here. Coming in with some type of offer here. See, I tell you, you got offers coming in. See? <laughs> you know they thinking about that queen of wands. Now, come on. Scooby, don't be so hard. You ain't got to give them the time of day. But can you blame them? You shouldn't even be able to blame them because they, they got it bad for you. Like I say, what you think they thinking about? This, this is somebody. It could be a Capricorn, Earth sign. See there, this person don't want to play games with you. Look at here. See, they feel defeated. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Five of Swords in the reverse with the Lover's card. And there go the Death card in the reverse. This person hasn't did nothing since you moved on. They have not found nobody else because they ain't been looking. What they, Their third party is work. For some of y'all, Scorpio, somebody from your past, don't you know that this person misses you till they are at the point of giving in. Now, I know this ain't for everybody. This is why it's a general. So don't attack me because your person ain't showed up. That's your job to go find your person. I am only here telling you the energy that is surrounding Scorpio. That's it. OK, so like I say, here, somebody really is missing you. They're working a lot. If they were holding back from you, I feel like this person wants to give to you now. See, now that they're taking stock, if they were blocking everything, you know, that's what happened when you miss somebody and they ain't around no more. That's what happens. And I feel like this is what's happening to this person. Because look, you in their head. See, six of cups, the devil in the page of Pentacle. That's them. Somebody looking at you beautiful and got it going on here. See, if somebody was playing games. They don't want to play them games now, though. See, they want this now, see? Because they can't move on. <laughs> they, they can't move on. See there? See, all that came out after that justice card with the eight of wands. So for some of y'all, somebody has really been reconsidering. Now, it could be some of y'all could be reconsidering. But like I say, this person, that's all they doing is thinking about you. Yeah, they're, 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 and I tell you, I told you, I told you in the February and Valentine's Day is the lovers, quote unquote, lovers time. That's when you get a pass to be real sentimental. That's when you get the special love treat, you know, the romantic dates, the, uh, the dinners and, uh, you know, the, the, the long time here. So please believe if your person here, if it's anybody from your past, that some of y'all, I see why it's hard for some of y'all to let go because there's a need to make a decision because some of y'all, this person, which is a soulmate, is constantly pulling at your energy and you think it's your energy, but it's not. It's theirs because they got an obsession. So like I said, this person at the breaking point now, it's almost like, OK, what, 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 what would it take? What, what, what would it take? <laughs> it's almost like they ready to compromise is what I feel like. See, got the two of pentacles again. I know this your reading, but I feel like this them unless you want them back. You could be looking at them as a, as a, as a fire sign, this queen of wands saying how beautiful and attractive they are. And you would love to be in a relationship with them. A, but, but I feel like this is representing that what is surrounding you is a lot of attention and success. You're looking beautiful and confident. See there, you're doing your own thing here. There's a level of, a level of quiet and mystery about you. But somebody, you have someone's undivided attention on you. Yeah. Yeah, their undivided attention is on you. Now, what's up with this Ace of Cups for Scorpio? Clarify the Ace of Cups, see? Ace of Cups, a new opportunity in love overflowing for Scorpios. They go to Page of Pentacles. You got an offer coming in. Like, I feel like I feel like somebody's going to reach out to you. Look, they go that devil peeking out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I ain't going to take it, though. I'm going to let it come out on its own. I feel like somebody, like I said, somebody's at their breaking point. That's why you got that two of pentacles, because you in this high maintenance energy, the queen of wands, nine of pentacles. Oh, man, God dang, if they don't want you, who, what they think you're going to do? 
Y'all ain't gonna sit around here and wait on them when you got all this good high vibrational energy. No, you you are a one woman or a one man show at this point. You don't have to chase after anyone. Like I say, the Empress is a lady. She knows her worth and she knows when to leave too. So like I say here, I can see why there is some type of obsession going on. Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles, because it may be hard to find that type of energy nowadays, Scorpios. I'm telling you, you think that it's easy. No, it's the, 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 the you know, it, some things used to be uh, r r really, really, um, what you call something an asset. But now that you look at it and the majority of the people now, they're giving out everything. I'm just saying nobody makes anybody work for it. So now when they see a high class energy, see, I told you, it's almost like somebody knows what is real and what is not because they ran into a lot of fake, fake energy out here. And somebody is tired of the illusion. See, there it is. Seven of cups in the reverse. Someone is coming out of the illusion. See, bam. Like I said, this person may have had a lot of other interests and this person and been all over the world here, but they're out of the illusion. They just want to succeed. And they see somebody wants to write one. I feel like somebody is turning down everybody else just for the main prize. And I feel like it's you. You got the chariot twice. Could be a cancer for some of y'all. I feel like somebody has shut everything down because they're realizing it ain't nothing to this. All y'all want the same thing. You're all on the same type of energy. I don't want that uh, because they feel like they're the shit. So quite naturally, see, six of cups, see, somebody may have tried to date other people from your past just to end up coming back to you. But for some of y'all, if you left this person and you never returned, they tried. They tried. And the only reason why they tried, it wasn't because they didn't want you. It's because they didn't have you. OK. And they was too stubborn to make the changes. But now they see, God dang, I, I see why Scorpio act like that. You're not like everybody else here. All right. The devil in the reverse here. Capricorn energy. Why is this devil card in the reverse? You already. Um. See, this person is watching you with that page of swords here. Some of y'all not noticing certain people here, but I feel like somebody wants your attention. Somebody may want to know who is your attention on, who you paying attention to. See, they go to devil card in the reverse, followed by the star card. There is some healing Capricorn C, and they go to lover's card, Gemini energy C. I feel like you are somebody's wish fulfilled C, Scorpios. You just are. You just are. And like I said, I feel like they didn't want to face it because they felt like they were going to have to change. And maybe they did. Maybe you came into somebody's life to elevate them. You know, you didn't come into their life to bring them down. So you know how some people feel like you're wrong and they ain't got the answer to you. They can move on. I feel like they actually tried that. But just to just to realize shit, these, these is looking the goddamn same. They say they, they say all y'all looking the same. But somebody realized that there was something real in you with this empress. Got the lover's card, honey. Seven of cups in the reverse. Like I said, somebody realized in that king of wands energy that they were only fooling themselves if they thought that they could replace you instead of just changing and doing what they needed to do because it was just going to elevate them. But that's probably why you got the wheel of fortune here. Once again, Scorpio, I always tell you, you're somebody's karma here. See, because... Your person was not in the right energy here. See the king of swords in the reverse here. See the hierophant in the reverse, the magician in the reverse, three of swords. What? It was all it. No. Ace of Pentacles, a king of one. See, this person is changing. This is what this is. This is how they were. But now you got the ace of wands and the knight of wands here and the tower. See, to so somebody having an epiphany. I told you. I told you somebody's somebody's reached their breaking point here. They can't handle it anymore because I feel like even if this person is going out trying to date other people, they're going to always think about you and even be comparing you with everybody else. And it's always showing up the same. There's only one Scorpio. This is why you got another opportunity coming your way. Once again, they are extremely turned on by you with that knight of wands. You already know what time it is, but they're not getting any of your energy because you got the king of wands. So it's definitely a twin flame because you got the four wands here. 
Well, somebody, you got their attention here, Scorpio. You have their attention and some of y'all don't care and you're not even noticing because you may be too, giz too busy feeling yourself and doing your own thing at this point. So why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Like, I feel like I feel like you changed somebody's life, but I feel like somebody didn't want to change, but you got the world card. So something has changed. I feel like this person has did some changes. See the Wheel of Fortune. They go to freaking Wheel of Fortune again here. Divine timing, karma, destiny, fates, good luck, good fortune. That's probably why I got the Ace of Pentacles there. Mm. But they go to Queen of Swords, though. See? We just seen that King of Swords in reverse. See there? Somebody looking at you like you don't play no games. So see, they may have been, they may have been trying to say that it was something wrong with you, if, especially if you spoke your mind. You could have been the type of person that stood up for yourself in this Queen of Swords energy. And now it's time for this person here. See, I feel like y'all walked away from this person here. Or from mess that no longer serves you with that Eight of Cups. And I feel like as soon as you did that, you may have hid, blocked this person or stayed to yourself for a while here. And then some of y'all going to come back out in that Knight of Wands energy here. See, y'all getting away from this person. See? Because for some of y'all, this person was making you emotionally imbalanced because of them. Ain't that something? See there? So in order for y'all to really let, get away from the toxic energy, some of y'all had to detach from it. So I see, I see you detaching it because you got the will of fortune. Something is changing here. Well, y'all ain't playing. So you're not playing here. Now, one more, what's that, what else for this will of fortune here? So you don't walk away from this person here and now they're in their feelings. Yeah, that's what's going on, Scorpio. So if you walked away from somebody, they're in their feelings, but you got new opportunities coming your way. And it's up to you who you choose, because some of y'all want the person from your past. But some of y'all want somebody new. You still got a King of Pentacles that is showing up. Some of y'all got a new person on the scene, a King of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles here. For some of y'all, y'all walked away from this person because they wasn't offering you nothing with the Knight of Pentacles. They may have been making you promises, but wasn't, but wasn't following through. So y'all had to make up y'all mind that enough was enough with the judgment. See, that's why you got the will of fortune. See, that's what Spirit say. Once you make up your mind, then it's going to change your destiny. It's going to change everything. So sometimes you're in toxic, chaotic situations because you are choosing to be in there. And don't get me wrong. I'm saying choose by the sense of putting your foot down and getting angry enough to say, you know what? I don't want this because if you're not going to tell your toxic situation that you don't want it, then it thinks that you 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 want to be there. So for some of y'all, this is what it took for you to finally uh, answer and finally give this your attention um, to tell it that you don't want it, that you deserve better, that you're getting better. And like I say, that will of fortune going to change it around and bring it for you. And then you can have your emotional happiness here. So you got the chariot here. What's up with the chariot? I feel like you got the person from your past who was missing you and they're at the breaking point. But I also feel like you got new opportunities. And for some of y'all, you got so many beautiful new opportunities that if you want to move forward and forget you had this ex, you can do that because it's going to be something waiting for you. The chariot, cancer energy. What's up with the chariot? See? Three of cups, see? You're going to move towards uh, successful, healthy connections here, friendships here. See? As soon as you move on, Scorpio, I'm telling you, somebody going to start chasing you. See? They go to Ace of Swords, because now they're going to finally have, they're going to finally have truth and clarity. Remember, you got belief and clarity here. And then they're going to come in and try to offer you their love. See there? I tell you, I tell you, that's how you get what you want to chase you is to is to act like you don't want it. Ain't that something you got to use reverse psychology on it? Ain't that some shit? But I feel like that's what you got to do, because deep down, it, but, but see, you, you, you can't really want it, though. You got to make up in your mind. I'm done and go on for real, for real. Oh, yeah. And then it's going to make them want you more. But if you steady chasing after them and begging them and acting like they all let and you ain't. Oh, yeah. Then it's going to reverse on you. And it's just going to it's going to bring you down because then they're going to feel like they got the power. 
see, this is it's just like a bunch of mind games, but but it seems like that's how it is in love. Love is games. <laughs> if you if, if you dare enter into the the, uh, the love arena, be prepared for the games and everything that comes with it too. But it could very well be that you have a clear mind here. You're free. You have victory. You've had a breakthrough or you're having a breakthrough, a mental breakthrough where you have uh, your clarity is, is pure. You know that you want to move forward and not backwards here because at the end of the day, you're looking for something uh, more um, long term. So you're looking for a whole marriage and relationships here. That's what y'all, y'all ain't playing. Y'all after grown folks energy here. You say, I done played games. I done played them little kitty games for far too long. I'm not going to let you waste my time. And see, I feel like as soon as you make up in your mind that that's what you want, then they're going to come. They're going to come give you what you want. Because it, it, I feel like the, 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 uh, the, the key to the game is make them think that they are choosing you when you done already chose them. Okay? Yeah, I know it sucks. So you got the seven of wands, the two of pentacles, and the high priestess. What's up with this high priestess? You could be dealing with the Pisces here. Why is the high priestess here? Secrets. Uh, uh, spiritual knowledge here. Some of you guys here could be reading your tarot cards more. You could be a tarot reader. You could be tapping into spiritual things here or your intuition is being heightened. Look, for some of y'all, you're feeling this person's energy. You may feel like they're coming back because there go the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Cups. And then for some of y'all, there is a need to listen to your intuition because I feel like somebody's trying to come back in from your past and you probably going to want to know, are they real this time before you move, before you give them another opportunity? All right, the High Priestess. There go the Chariot. See, there go the Chariot again here. Moving towards success. See, there it is. You're going to do it too. See, there it is. Your overall energy. That's how we started off the reading with the four ones are coming full circle, coming right back around here. But like I say, I feel like there is a need that somebody's going to have to make up their mind what they want. And I feel like it's you. Because I feel like this person from your past is rushing in to you because they can't handle it anymore. They've tried. But then you also got something new. So you could you could meet someone brand new and you hit it off. And as right as you start feeling hopeful, like, OK, you know, you know, maybe here come that person from your past. <laughs> That's how it's going to do. You see, you got a king of pentacles. There go the king right there. Now, this could be a new person, but this could actually be somebody coming in your life to establish something real, too, because we know how the king of pentacles gets down. You got the four ones. Got the Ten of Pentacles, too. So like I say, whether this is somebody from your fat past, <laughs> fast, you're going to have multiple, multiple opportunities. The closer it gets. Now, look, they go to Six of Cups. Let me take it. Then. Well, maybe it's just a familiar energy here. Somebody here who wants something that reminds them of their childhood. Or they may feel a kindred spirit, a kindred connection with this four ones with you. So why is the Two of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles, destiny, the divine, the divine, the divine time and divine time. And somebody, like I say, even though things are destined to be in fate, you still got you. Sometimes you still got to make a move. So someone here may be seeing the signs, but they may not be so sure about what they are seeing here. See, King of Cups, see, I feel like this is somebody here who they're seeing the signs of you, but they don't want to admit that they are in love with you. Meanwhile, they don't even know you may have a whole nother person coming in. See, because this person here is thinking wrong. Whew. Somebody is hoping that I feel like this person is kind of angry at themselves that they still thinking about you, but you didn't already walked away from them. Like I say, for some of y'all, this person's trying to work it off, but that's that's the ran this course. They're not getting any pleasure in that anyway, because you consume their mind in every type of way. OK, because they thinking about you in every type of way. OK, with the king and the queen of wands, seven of wands, they could be looking at you like you're standing your ground. You ain't came back. You ain't called back to see if they still alive or what. And they like, God dang, see, seven of wands, you protecting their love, ain't you? See, so now you got the king and the queen of wands and the king and the queen of cups here. See, I feel like that king of wands and turned into the queen king of cups for you. But they don't know that you got a whole nother soulmate coming into your life. Scorpio that's looking for a relationship as a king of pentacles here. Meanwhile, this other person's in their feelings, letting the devil 
See, I, like, I feel like you may have came into this person's life for a reason to help them with this. Could have been somebody here who was afraid to open up their heart to love. But I feel like now you, your, your love is ran out because you lost your patience. The will of fortune, a queen of swords, maybe maybe they needed this, this reality check from you, from them. But you definitely got the eight of cups there. So like I said, you probably was once upon a time open for them. But now you and the queen of swords to them. And now they're in the king of cups. See how they work? Who? So they see you guarded here. And I feel like this person wants to, like I said, I feel like this person feel like they're going to have to take the high road if they want your attention. Or it could just represent that you have piqued the curiosity of more than one person here. Now, yeah, you know you got that person that you already had that connection with. See, like I said, people just want to be happy. Could be your person here that's still heartbroken since you're not with them. They miss you. Oh my gosh, they miss you. One more card for the Seven of Wands, Scorpio. Goodness, why is the Seven of Wands here? Because you are that Empress here. This is almost like you're, you're finding yourself here, see? The higher fence, see? So you definitely have commitment energy coming around you, Scorpios. You have past life energy coming in, people from your past, your lovers from your past, as well as potential lovers moving forward, Scorpio. So once again, you remember, this is how they see you. Yeah, they see you like that. But like I said, whoever this person is, they are extremely attracted to you. They're watching you. See? King of Wands. The King of Wands is watching that old sexy Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands ain't got nobody right now. But I feel like you got all kind of opportunities coming your way, Scorpio. So it's okay to move forward. You don't have to give people a second chance. But once again, your intuition is going to play a key role in your decision making, Scorpio. So put that time in. Make sure you are connected. Make sure you are on your healing journey. Make sure you are choosing your self-love. Make sure you are doing everything it takes to get you where you need to be. And then all the other stuff is going to be attracted to you. Because remember, first you have to be what it is that you are attracting. You ain't got no emperor on here. So like I said, that's why everybody is flocking to you because you're the one that's in control and you're the one that has the light and the juice now, Scorpio. So Scorpio, this is your general love reading. If it resonates, please like, share and subscribe. Bye.